top of the bestseller list, we have this Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. Aptly named, as it turns out. If you're surprised that the sales title isn't worn by some gas-sipping subcompact, then you don't realize how far we've slipped since the oil-starved days of the early 70s. The Cutlass is traditional American, a mid-sized, rear-drive device that clearly promotes the bigger, luxurious car philosophy. Its popularity proves that entrenched American car buying habits are still hard to break. It's no wonder, really, what Oldsmobile has here, besides its call anything a Cutlass and it'll sell name, is a smartly styled and quite modern personal luxury coupe. The Cutlass Supreme is available in a four-door sedan, but it's this long-hooded two-door with a formal roof that really attracts the buyers. Why? Well, one drive will tell you. Even with the sports suspension, the ride is soft and smooth without being bouncy. The separate body and frame construction also offers the kind of sound insulation that few unibody cars can approach. At 55 miles per hour, you can almost hear lint drop on the deep carpets with only 64 decibels of outside noise. For more proof of its popularity, take a serious look at the mileage ratings of the optional V8 four-speed automatic drivetrain, 18 city and 30 highway. Our test loop produced real-world economy of 22 miles per gallon. Our test sample included the brome trim and a bevy of options, all designed to lure you to get behind the wheel. With plenty of head, leg, and shoulder room, the comfy, non-reclining front seats can only be faulted as being too flat. You slide around a lot, even in normal driving. The optional gauge package was a nice touch on our car, complete and very clear. Once passengers crawl past the front shoulder belts, they'll find quite adequate room in the rear, although the seat cushions are designed only for two of them. And if you think your cutlass is not airy enough, glass T-tops can be ordered to let the sun shine in and hopefully the raindrops out. When detached, they can be stored in the Supreme's wide, low-silled trunk, along with much more than our standard set of bags. But such personal luxury will cost you. Base price is just under $9,500, and a typical version costs around $12,500. That can't be considered overly expensive in today's market, unfortunately, but it's not cheap either. Not only that, the $14,500 price of our test car didn't buy the best in fit and finish. The chrome Olds logo on the trunk lid simply got tired of hanging on. And we noticed a badly bent section of bumper trim, uneven door gaps, and a barely attached section of rocker panel molding not at all up to the quality of previous Cutlass Supremes we've seen. And after all, it's the old quality image that sells cars like the Cutlass, while findings from a performance test will go mostly unnoticed. In a way, that's too bad, since in our handling test, the Cutlass certainly didn't embarrass itself. As we rolled its 3,550 pounds around the pylons, we found an average course speed of 42.6 miles per hour, quite good for any family-type car with a luxury mission. A great help through the course was the 5-liter, 140-horsepower V8. The Cutlass didn't set any records, but a 13-second, 0-60 to 60 sprint is just what we think an all-car median result should be, but usually isn't. When we mashed the gas and our Cutlass slipped into passing gear, we knew the 240 pounds of low RPM torque would propel us past traffic fast. Only 4.5 seconds from 40 to 55 miles per hour is well above average. Back in the where it should be range was the curb to curb turning diameter, 38 feet. In fact, the only performance result that tallied up a bit short was from the Cutlass Supreme's power disc drum brakes. While distances from 55 were acceptable at 140 feet, too much boost caused the tires to grab in a jerky fashion and our car's tendency to pull slightly left was also a detraction. But even with that, and hoping our complaints on fit and finish will get somebody's attention, we don't see any major factors that might keep this Oldsmobile car line from thriving as the U.S. sales leader. 
It's roomy, quite plush, reasonable on fuel, fits a large cross-section of the population's taste, and does everything asked of it in an average or above average manner. So it'll probably continue to sell well. That is, as long as they continue to call it a cutlass.